why is it that whenever I want to record my hair is just it's it's not having it whenever I'm just sitting there doing nothing my hair is like yes now is the time go 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 make the hair even make it nice make it flowy and then whenever I want to do something or record something my hair is like Okay, rain check on the hype. So rude. Good evening, Key and Core Enjoyers! Today I have a spectacular idea that I don't think has been done in a video format before. As you can see, there's a lot of stuffed animals on my bed. I'm gonna give them personalities. For some reason, despite how many I have, I was never really the type to like, name my stuffed animals or give them personalities. So I guess I'm gonna, you know, Guess I'll do that for him now, at the ripe age of 16. So we have a bunch of stuffed animals on the floor down there. You can't see them, but I, th pff, they are there. Here, here. What? Nope, never mind, not gonna let that happen. I'll do it like front facing. <clears throat> that is the sound of comfort. Let's get you introduced. Guy number one. Might imagine I have no prior plans for this. I'm just gonna go straight off vibes, straight off appearance. We're judging by appearance today. You guys will come to notice that I have a lot of frog plushies for some reason. This is Mike, semi-inspired by the lovely Mike Irwin Trout from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul. He kind of just doesn't want to be here. He's a libertarian. He's going through it. He's, he's just a little bit deflated. Like, if he dies soon, so be it. He's in his 60s, his late 60s. He doesn't drink often, but when he does, he cries. He had a wife, but she died. She died delivering their kid, who then also died. So he's just really going through it. Prayers for Mike. Am I allowed to just call him faggot? I can't name him faggot. This is Charles. So rude. He's homophobic, but he is also gay. He grew up in a very tight Christian household. One day, he went to a party at youth group, and then him and little Timmy got smooching, and then he was like, wait, isn't this a sin? And then he was like, <sighs> and then he had that shocking realization, and that, and he's, he's still a teenager right now, so he's still in his house. His story is yet to be told. I wish the best for him. This is literally just Pikachu. This is Ronnie. Ronnie's a school teacher who everyone likes. He has a very simple life. He goes home to his wife and his kids and he gives them all kisses and he works on their retirement fund. He lives a very simple life, but he's okay with that. Ronnie has that simple suburban American life. This crazy bastard has a piss kink. Let's just set that straight. Let's, let's get that out of the way. This man has gone on a road trip all around America. He thinks he's like the talk of the town, but everyone kind of just looks at him, winces, and then just moves on. Unless you're his friend, and in that case, you're gonna have the absolute time of your life. He will bring you to every party, regardless of how well he knows you. He's very nice, he is just off the rails. Off the rails. This is Rory. He had the absolute best time in high school. He was like that one popular kid that you kind of like, but unfortunately he was targeted by the military, not for like doing something wrong, he was just a high schooler, who didn't really have any plans for his future, so, you know, military did what they did best. They go and, you know, talk to these kind of teenagers. They're kind of, you know, vulnerable, and they're willing to do things like this because they don't know any better, and the next thing they know, they know they're traumatized, and they don't really get much compensation for it. Anyways, he came out of the military and then became a leftist. Everybody who knows Rory loves him. Everybody absolutely hates this baby. This baby will projectile vomit on you, your loved ones, your friends, your family, all of the above. All at once. Certified little twat. This child exists to do nothing but cause problems. Every morning he wakes up and decides to be an absolute nuisance to society. Everybody wants this baby dead, but it'd be murder. This baby has killed a man and will do it again. This is Teresa. She's in her 80s. She likes to knit. She likes making cookies for her grandkids. She's just a cookie cutter grandma. She wants everybody to have a good time in life. She's here for a good time, not a long time. In her prime years, she was a party animal. She is perfectly fine living her old age out in the mountains of Georgia. Does Georgia have, I don't know, mountains of Georgia. Teresa is here for you. Mwah! This is literally just Froki. This is Abigail. Abigail's a Mormon. She's very pretty and nice on the surface, but God, Abigail has a lot of trauma buried in her brain. One day, Abigail's gonna snap, and you guys better prepare for the day that she snaps. This little freak's gonna wreak chaos one day. Just you watch. This is Frank. Frank, his whole life, has just had really bad luck. He's really trying his best, but the universe has just not been very kind to him. He works an office job and isn't content with it. 
he wants more but he doesn't know what he wants so he just kind of sits there waiting for the day that something will happen but that day will never come and he will just end up ultimately dying sad and alone sorry this is margie and as much as i love margie she she's a republican she won't be mean directly to your face but she will smack talk to her friends and you will hear about it and then if you ask her about it she'll pretend that she didn't say anything she's an anti-vax but she is where they come from that's what i'm gonna do to you if you're a centrist this is ike he managed to whiz his way through school just by kind of winging it he doesn't know what's gonna happen with his future he's all right with that he understands that he was just put on this earth to do whatever and that's what he's gonna do he likes video games but doesn't really have a pc he likes parties but doesn't really get invited to many he knows he could have a future in something if he applied to himself but he just doesn't care this simple little man he's just riding along you see this little guy already has a name this is gub his mom smoked a lot of crack like wow it's unbelievable that he's alive gub is just a toddler but Gub has chased several people around with knives before, and he's going to continue to. Nobody is safe from his ever-growing lust for blood. If you see him anywhere, go in the nearest closet, turn the lights out, pretend that you can't hear him. He is approaching. This, of course, is only a duplicate of the real Gub. The real Gub is hid away somewhere very far away. Whew! If the real Gub does ever get loose... You know, needless to say, you might want to kiss your loved ones goodbye because it's the end of society as we know it. Nobody is safe from his wrath. So don't forget to say your prayers because he's always listening. And may God spare your soul if Gub ever does break loose. This is Bobo. He has put meats on Craigli Craigslist and he has been approached by the police before. Is that going to stop him? Absolutely not. Bobo might commit some crimes. And by crimes, I'm talking like level four felony crime. Sleep with your eyes open if you ever have Bobo over. Jemiah. Jemiah is like fun, loving, friendly on the surface. But one day, uh, Jemiah hung around with a different crowd that they were used to and kind of, sort of, just a little bit, got a bit of a taste for meth. So they're like fun to be around, definitely life of the party, but if you see the pipe, you know it's about to go down. If you aren't looking to be around meth then maybe jemiah isn't the friend for you jemiah has been arrested seven times and is on several watch lists for several reasons that i cannot state on youtube but like generally speaking she's fun and last but not least we got elephant baby z is on the run from the police accidentally kind of sort of stepped on a child on an accident they were at a carnival and bada bing bada boom next thing they know there's a little splat of a child. So, bit of an accident, bit of a mistake. But they're making do. I hope you guys enjoyed this colorful cast of characters. Like, subscribe, hit the bell. One of these days, I'm gonna properly do monetization, but I'm not really sure what to do because I was just gonna use my dad's account, but then I realized that my dad already has a YouTube channel that he's getting monetization from, so I can't really hook up two accounts on one AdSense account, so I'm not really sure what to do from there. But I'll worry about that later now, won't I? So before you guys can give me money, just give me support, so that way when I can make money, I'll make more of it. Aww. Anyways, I'm just rambling. This has been like a 40-minute recording. God knows knows how. It's going to be absolute agony to edit. I already know it. Key in editing, how are you feeling? It's what I thought. Lots of love, hot people. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.